Hello everybody and welcome to Open World Gamers. Right, today folks I'm going to be doing the suggestions on how to improve the update. Hmm. Okay, this is not a negative review. The uh, I have been doing uh, mainly critical and hypercritical reviews on this last update. Uh, it, oh, the only reason why I do the critical reviews is to help Hello Games perfect their game. Right, it's not a blight on the community, you know, nothing bad about what people like. These are just my general opinions, okay? So, it theoretically, if you're offended by how I think, you know, I'm just like the guy who makes a post in on Reddit saying I don't like the update. I'm like the guy that is on Facebook group saying I don't like this about the update. You know, this is all its own, it's personal preference, folks. It's just what I think, okay? You may think different, okay? So, this is what you can do to improve the update. Mm. <coughs> not critical, by the way, not critical. So, what, I, what I'd like to bring up, first of all, is um, other content creators, um, usually... I'm not going to mention any names, but would like more story and lore within the game. We have a bit of lore, but not very much. It seems to be like they've skimmed the lore. Do you like when you've got the mission, the main missions of the game, right? Where they came in, like uh, the Origins and the... What was the other one? The Underwater one, right? Um... We had lo a load of massive missions and they were in the game permanently all the time. And they are in there now if you want to do them. We don't seem to get that type of thing anymore in the game. It doesn't seem to, it always seems to be like um, a graphical update. And then the update seems to just like, after time becomes boring and then becomes just something else. You know, we had the settlements, but nobody ever seems to use them anymore. But at the time, they were great. But afterwards, they were bad. So these type of graphical elements at the point of the game never seem to have a long-lasting time period to them. You know, they're okay for when you first start the game. But once you start the grind within No Man's Sky, they become boring or you never use them. Okay. Um, they become obsolete, one extra thing in the game that you never use. But regarding these missions, you can keep going back to these missions and rerunning them all the time. It's, for example, they've got these new pirate stations now. Um, nobody will ever go back to these pirate stations, preferably after this update, because nobody has a need for them. You, there's no need to go there. Right, there was absolutely no need to go there once you once all this update is done, and let's say we go on to another update. Right, nobody's really going to visit them. I assure you that because there's nothing there really that people can have. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those cliffhanger type of things that are okay, good for the update, but afterwards it becomes redundant. You know, it's just another thing in the game nobody will use after the update. You know, like settlements. You know what I mean? So, <coughs> these space stations don't seem to have um, a longer life to them. Now then, uh, I found a way of getting rid of from these um, fighters, by the way. Right? I'm not going to make a video on it. I'll taste straight now. Build a cave base. A base in a cave. So... When I'm on No Man's Sky, I'll be doing my base of operations inside a cave. I'll be like Batman, right? So, <laughs> so that's what it's going to be like, Batman. I'll be a Batman in a cave. So, yeah, that's how you can do it. You can go underground and build. But the element regarding the pirates, yeah, it becomes incredibly annoying sometimes. And a lot of people have been saying it, right? Yeah, let's say when the update's over, expedition's over with... Uh, everything goes back to the normal grind and you're there to make your money and you're there to make your quick, uh, everything else. 
and you're going down to the planet to do what you need to do and you're building your base and you want to show it off by photograph but you can't do it because you'll be getting constant wave after wave after wave of pirates coming down attacking you and over time that's going to become incredibly annoying so i found a way of doing that by building under the ground in my own base and all they do is bombard the surface right you can hear them all the time but that's it that's a good way of getting around it is that you know elite gamers did a video quite recently and he did it where he built inside an archive to get away from them, right? So, yeah, there are means and ways of doing it. Do you know what I mean? So you can still play the game. It's just that it's going to be difficult to walk along the planet's surface. Do you know what I mean? So instead of having the freedom of walking and sitting around and, you know, base building on a surface, you know, you can go underground now and build underground. So, which is pretty cool now. Just find an existing cave. Don't build, dig your own because the terrain moves and it'll engulf your base. Okay. Next thing, right? So, we're done the space station. We've done the pirates. I'm telling you a situation to get round things. The ships, what you can do instead of the ships, they should have an option where the sails can retract at any time you want, right? So, you don't have these sails up. When you want so they are like they uh, hello games said they are used for an extra boost right i completely understand that yeah it can be for an extra boost but only when you need it so you know when you're pulsing right that's when your sails could come out and it would help you pulse faster but any other part part when you're in combat or anything like that the sails actually retracting that'd be amazing because those sails are for a certain purpose and they don't always need to be out all the time. Do you know what I mean? So, you see what I mean? Hello Games could have made the uh, actual graphics where the sails go in, right, while you're in combat. So you've got a more field of view, right? Um, that would be an incredible, a great thing about the actual um, new ships, right? And make them a bit more exclusive, exclusive too. We won't go into the um, expedition too much, but the prizes in the expedition are very, not very good. You know what I mean? You would have thought because it was a ship or a pirate update, we may have got a new ship as a prize of a ship. So what I'm trying to say to you with this is better prizes within the game. It just tends to say that you're going through the expedition to, you know, just wing banners and capes. Okay. Right, there's another thing as well regarding these capes. The cape graphics, yeah, it, they call it the cloth feature type of graphic, right? But if you look at it, the, the base model, and you turn it around, the actual cape glitches actually through the character, if you, if you haven't noticed or not. Yeah, it glitches through the character. It does wave, but it does glitch through. It's not like a, not like a cloth cape. It's like just like, um, I'm not really quite sure. It, it does glitch through your character, and... I didn't put my cape on because it looked horrible, okay? And it also reminded me of Fortnite, right? So, I used to play Fortnite, by the way, folks. Yeah, it was really good. I was there from season one. So, yeah. So, there are those aspects. The the game, the, the updates that Hello Games bring out become incredibly linear. They're not like the older updates where there were the major content that was brought into the game. And... They still have that content from those big updates now in the you know in your log so you can use you can do those missions now in all the recent updates they don't really have anything like that they have been settlements with the settlements you've got, but everything else seems to be just more graphical do you know what I mean and it's like they don't have the time to actually create that type of um content in the game so they're trying to make it incredibly graphical and hell games i completely understand what you're trying to do you're trying to sell games and text on a board right won't really cut it so you're just trying to attract new players by creating a graphical style of game so i completely understand that i really completely understand that but it's very very linear right and It'll only appeal for a certain amount of time. And then if you create an update, which is incredible, it's got all this lore in and it's got all these new missions, <coughs> giving people content for things to do over a long period of time, 
then you won't have to release as many updates. You know, you could create one big update that could last six months and people will be playing that update and enjoying it instead of doing loads of little updates, right? And people getting annoyed because it's destroying the gameplay. And there's another problem as well that I've been finding. Uh, subscribers on the channel, or several subscribers and on social media, finding the bugs really difficult on pre-gen. So if you could bring down, if you could create two different types of version of the update, you know, one for pre-gen and one for next gen and high-end PCs and low-end PCs, right? Even if it brings resolution down, right? So there's no bugs, no crashes. That'd be amazing because you've got to remember Hello Games, a great deal of your community actually still play previous gen. So effectively what you're trying to do is you're trying to force people into playing the game on next gen. And that's not fair because, for example, next generation systems in the UK are hard to find. The only thing you can seem to get for next generation systems are the Xbox Series, usually the Xbox Series S, right? Because nobody can get uh, PlayStation 5s at all, anywhere. You might be able to get them in the States, but in the UK you can't hardly get them at all anywhere. So you've got to put that into consideration. The majority of the community that I know of are on pre-gen consoles and lower end PCs. So you're not catering for those demographics within the community, okay? You're just trying to push the game towards next generation and high end PCs. So those were my suggestions, folks, right? You can see not everything's negative. I like to give a, a positive feel towards the update and obviously uh, a good night's sleep does it too. So I've just had a day off from creating content, you see. So, yeah, I was doing back-to-back -back videos on the um, doing the review, you see, and it makes you go, Phew. so I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. I really appreciate it. N nice to see all the new subscribers. You're all awesome. Not everything's negative when it comes to this channel. You know, I'm not turning into a Sky Masters or something, right? So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, I'd like to thank everybody for watching the video. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you lot in the next video.